All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am coming to you from the Concrete Subway in Luna Park, Scranton, Pennsylvania. The once, the now defunct Luna Park, Scranton, Pennsylvania. On uh, many ventures out here into the woods, I finally narrowed it down through all the information I can come up with and set my eyes on this for myself for the first time. Um, now, it looks like, you know, you don't have room to walk under there, but of course, all this sediment has set inside of here in the hundred years or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just about a hundred anyway, 97 years now, that uh, 98 years that this is park has been defunct. So God knows what happened in all that time. There is a highway, uh, Highway 81, which is put, put in uh, 50s or 60s. And uh, that's running up above. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, very, uh, it's not a hard to get to place. It's just out of the way. And uh, I think most people would never have any idea that this little piece of history was here, you know, unless they uh, got on a kick about it like myself and uh, were obsessed in the rumors that it still existed, that I would be able to find it. But uh, now just a uh, hundred years of people encroaching with their properties and whatnot. Um, this there's, and you find this a lot in this area, just random, random junk and scrap heaps and garbage everywhere, everywhere out in the nature here, which you can hardly call nature anymore when you realize how much of it has actually been built up by who, by when, I don't know, you know, but um, just amazing. It's just amazing, the history and, I mean, the things you, even just this, for what it is, is amazing to think of the industry and all the time and everything that was put into producing whatever it is I'm seeing out here. I don't know what that is. It might be, it might be a shoe over there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, and for it to end up here, you know, um, this looks like either a stove or washing machine, maybe, you know. And uh, even these cut trees, you know, have worked their way into here, which has been abandoned for so long. Um, that takes effort, you know. So just a strange way that things play out in the world magical in its own sense but uh, you would have got off of the train up above the train tracks ran both ways up above that uh, trestle if you want to call it and uh, you would have gotten off the train just uh, just this way a little bit I guess would have been the Nayog Park train station and I'm going to see if I can find ruins from that but uh, and you would have got off the train and come down I guess either this side or that side, and you could see the walls on both sides. So there was either a walkway ramp coming down, or stairs, and or a combination of both, you know, and uh, just all the time to put into these non-masonry walls that are still standing after all this time, like unaffected, even the concrete looks great, you know. Um, well, maybe not great, <laughs> as, as I look at the crack there, but... Uh, just amazing. I'm just excited. I finally found it. And uh, I'll take you back up with me if I can make it. I hope I can make it, actually, now that you mention it. Thank God for all the trees out here in the wilderness. They do help you get a foothold on these slippery, muddy slopes. You know, so I'll take you above. We'll see the whole thing. I'm so used to doing shorts videos now. Um, but for this, I'm going to make a few minutes, take a few minutes to soak this all in. So see, the train tracks would have run. Here's, here's the other side of it. Here's the other side of it. I'll probably go down, get some photos from there as well. Um, and the tracks ran both ways above this. I mean, it's hard to believe with those trees, so much growth since the Laurel line came out. I think it still ran through here up through the 1950s. So uh, that's still 70 years, you know. Obviously, again, the highway came in and cut all that off. Um, 
and uh, we're standing right where the tracks would have been. Would have gone down on either appropriate side, I guess, depending which direction you were traveling. And that was to avoid the third rail, is why they made this entrance the way they were, they did, so that if you were coming off, you wouldn't have to cross over the tracks and uh, you'd walk down your walkways on either side and go in there. So I'm gonna head down over here and try to capture this side for you. And we'll wrap this one up and uh, I'll see if I find, it's pretty close proximity the, uh, obviously, the Nayog Park Laurel Line Station out here. So I'll see if I can find any remnants of that too. You know, trying to create some quality content here for my people. You know, I don't know how much I'm going down into that swamp. Well, that is the side of, of the photos that I've seen online. I thought both sides were going to have a date on them. Um... And this side obviously doesn't. Oh, yes. Wait, I think it does. I think it does. Spoke too soon. Let me see where I can, what I could do here to endanger my safety and my life. Oh, yes, it does have a date. Only it's more worn off on this side. And welcome to Luna Park. It would have officially been in the site. Now... From this side, I have seen pictures of this back in the day, was behind the dance stage or dance complex, dance hall. So that would have been approximately, uh, probably the back of it, right about where that highway wall is now, Route 81. So peace, love, blessings. Just very excited to find this. Glad I could show it to you in a way that uh, most people aren't out here uh, finding it anymore. And... Um, so this footage should at least be the best comprehensive to be found online if you could find it. So peace, love, blessings.